Okay, so now I want to show you Elastic IP, uh, uh, commonly abbreviated to EIP. And so all that is, it's just a, um, a static IP, an IP that does not change because this EC2 instance here, notice that it's 54, 163, 4, 104. And what would happen if we were to stop this instance, not reboot it, but stop it because for whatever reason we had to or, or um, for whatever reason. And if we were to stop this instance and we were to restart it, Okay, uh, and we have to wait for it to stop, but that IP address is going to change, okay? So 54.163.4.104, hopefully we can observe that. I'm just gonna write that down so we do not forget. So I can prove to you that it does change. And now that it, it's still stopping here, so as that's stopping, we're just gonna go ahead and get our Elastic IP, and I will prove that as we go here. So I'm going to go over to here. And so what I want to do is reserve or allocate an elastic IP address. And so I'm going to say US East one. And it's going to say from the Amazon pool of IPv4 addresses. So AWS has a bunch of IP addresses they're holding on to. And so you can just allocate one. And once you've allocated, that's your IP address. So coming back to here. Okay, this is stopped. Notice there is no public IP address, we're going to start it again. Okay, and then we'll just checkbox it on and we just have to wait a little while to see what the IP address is going to be. I'm going to tell you it's going to be something else. So if I go back here, this is 54, 235, 12, 110. And our original one was 54, 163, 4, 104. So the reason why it's important to have the same address is that if uh, you have a load balancer, well not a load balancer, but if you have a domain pointing to your, uh, your server, and you reboot, then the you have a, dang a dangling um, a path or route where uh, Revity 3 was gonna be pointing to nothing. And so AWS does have things to mitigate that like aliases and things like that. But um, in general, you know, there's cases where you just have to have a static IP address. And so we had allocated one over here. And if we want to assign it, we're going to associate that elastic IP address. We're gonna drop it down, choose a CC2 instance. Um, I suppose the private IP as, as well. And then we're going to go ahead and hit allocate or associate. And once it's associated, it should now have 34, 199, 121, 116. So we go over here. And we're going to take a look here. And that's its IP address. We can pull it up. Okay. And that's that. So yeah, that's Elastic IP.